today I thought it'd be really fun to share with you guys what I would put in my casual everyday capsule wardrobe. I have a mix of new pieces here, old pieces, things that are so tried and true that I wear every single year. And I thought it'd be really fun to kind of challenge myself um, while tying in today's sponsor, which is Monos. Monos is a luggage slash travel brand. They create really, really beautiful products. I'm all about quality over quantity, especially when it comes to my luggage. I do travel quite frequently, so I need stuff that is functional, effective, and will last. And I love the new set that I got. I got the hybrid check-in large, as well as the hybrid carry-on, both in black. And I've personally never had a luggage set this nice before. For. It feels so premium, but it's still so like understated and minimal. They also have a whole other line that is like more colorful, that is more like your standard typical luggage. And another thing I love about them is that they put sustainability at the forefront from using vegan cruelty free resources, as well as being part of 1% for the planet, which I love as well. I'm gonna have a link to the ones that I selected as well as a discount code here um, with all of the details because I'm just so excited to be working with them. But the main thing is I have a pretty big pile of clothes over here. So I'm gonna try to fit everything into a Monos carry-on today. When I picked this capsule wardrobe, I honestly didn't know if it was going to fit in the carry-on. And I would consider this a major success because the only things I didn't put in there were my outerwear and my handbag, which realistically, if you were traveling anyway, you would be wearing these things on the go, which also proves to me that if I were to pack this in a checked bag, it would have been such a breeze, but I literally fit an entire season's worth of clothing in this one little bag, including three pairs of shoes. I'm gonna have a list of everything I managed to fit in here on the screen, cause that was insane. I can't believe I did that. Okay, let's get to the outfits. This capsule wardrobe will basically be like the winter months. I do live in Toronto, Canada. So I hope that is a little bit more like helpful for you guys. And my wardrobe is generally pretty casual cause I do work from home. Content creating is my full-time job. So I have two sweaters here. One is actually from the brand Lovers and Friends that you can get on Revolve. And the other one is an Aritzia cashmere piece. The reason why I'm showing this one though is cause you can easily buy it online. I will have a link there, but cashmere is just really, really warm. You don't have to layer too, too much. And I love a good white cream sweater. It literally looks good with everything. You can wear it with skirts, pants, Bob's your uncle with this one. The other item I have here is this great lovers and friends sweater that I recently just got. It's becoming a fast favorite just because I love a good oversized chunky turtleneck. If you've been around for a while, you will know that this is like my go-to. 90% of the time you see me out and about, I'm probably wearing something like this with an oversized like baggy pair of pants maybe or anything like that, but I'm obsessed with it. The next sweater I have here, I think everyone needs a classic crew neck. This is the one I always show because there's nothing that compares. I should find another one of these just because I wear this one so much, but is my Russell XL athletic crew neck. It's just simple and gray. You can get these at Walmart. I personally like the vintage ones. There's something about this fit that is so good and it just gets better with every single wash. It looks so good with a pair of dark wash denim. I just really love this. This has my heart. This is my go-to comfy sweater. I've literally worn it everywhere. And then I have two t-shirts here and I want to show t-shirts that you guys can easily get because I do have a lot of thrifted ones that I love. So it makes sense to show you guys something a little different. These are two shirts I have from Aritzia. This is a TNA one. I got this in an extra small. One thing I like to do is generally I wear a size small, but I like to do a size smaller in my t-shirts because I like them super fitted. And I feel like with cotton and stretch, things stretch out over the day anyway. So it's better to get them just like a bit more snug, but they're still really comfortable. This one's definitely a skims dupe, which is this Sunday willow cinch seamless shirt. I love this shirt. I don't know if they switched out the fabric, but I know it keeps selling out for a reason. Again, it's a great item from Ritzia. But the one pair of denim that I think will be a go-to pair for me this year that are also kind of newish, these are the Girlfriend 
Bella jeans. They are definitely a bit more on the pricey end, but I think they are so worth it. I have these in a size 26, but I probably should have done a 25 because they're a little bit big and they do stretch out a little bit. So get your true size. But I think this like medium blue slash dark wash, no holes is gonna be such a moment for this year. I see a lot of Pinterest inspo showing people wearing pants like this. It's definitely more like a low waisted kind of baggier slouchy fit, but paired with a sweater like this and a pair of Uggs, you're so good to go. I think this is super, super adorable. I love it. They are a little bit long on me, but one trend I've noticed is that a lot of people are cuffing their pants lately. And I have been doing the same because I'm not very tall. So this is perfect for me. And when I'm over it, I'll probably just cut them or hem them myself. And then another item from Aritzia is a pair of like faux leather pants. They don't sell these ones anymore, but I'll link something similar. I know they are by Wilfred, but they're not the Molina pant because they are a little bit more wide leg and low. Lower. They definitely have a similar fit to the jeans. I really love a good pair of leather pants because not only you can wear them day to day, you can wear them into the office, but you can also wear them out at night. So if there's one pair of pants that I'd be wearing to a bar, it would probably be this one. If you're getting drinks after a meeting or something like that, I feel like these are amazing and they go with everything. Dress them up, dress them down. I can't stop saying good things about them. Moving on, I have two more bottoms here. The first one is Le Chateau thrifted little mini skirt. I actually wore this last night to my friend's holiday party and it turned out so cute with a pair of tights. But again, I think this is just a cute little item to have, just a plain black skirt that fits you really well. It doesn't have to be mini, but I love a good mini skirt. It looks good with boots, sneakers, you name it. I think it's just a really good, nice little piece and they're easily thriftable. The next pair of pants I have here are by Camila Colho, and they are a pair of knitted pants. I've also seen some really good knitted pants at Zara. I've had a pair of those as well, and they're really good. I like that the split flare elongates your leg. Great for running errands. You guys know I love these pants. Highly recommend a pair of knitted pants that you can wear with a big chunky sweater, and it kind of feels like you're wearing a sweatsuit, except you look a little bit more chic. Love it. I have one dress here and it's a good one. This is a reformation dress and if you see on the pictures you'll see that it's actually worn with like this tie and everything which you can definitely wear it that way but I wore it recently backwards and I feel like that's my thing lately. I'm even wearing this sweater backwards right now. This is legitimately a cardigan. I wore this backwards and it looked so good but with these longer fitted midi dresses you can put on a big chunky turtleneck as well pair it with boots pair it with sneakers and it just looks really really pretty and i even like it more now that i've discovered i can wear it backwards um yeah i just think it's super cute and then i have two coats here the first coat is so cool is my vintage gap puffer i still have the tag on it i should probably take that off but it is just a plain black puffer these are easily thriftable or you can buy them like in the regular brick and mortar stores i will have a bunch linked but i think just a simple black puffer like this is such a good piece for your wardrobe because not only are they pretty much half filled with air so they're really easily packable like i can get this really really small like hello they also look good with everything you can dress them up dress them down they look good with jeans they look good with sweats i just think they're awesome personally i love a good oversized men's puffer if you look at the thrift store and you're in the market for one of these look at the men's section it's like one of my favorite pieces i thrifted in the beginning of fall that is serving me really well now and then the next coat i like to call my classy coat because no matter what you're wearing underneath you put on a coat like this and you're just going to feel so put together and i love it so this one's actually from everlane they bring it out every single year i believe this one is partly wool i have this in a size four and it's a camel color which is something i don't go towards a lot but when my hair was a lot blonder i felt like this color really worked for me it's super super cute really well lined the key to finding a coat like this that will also give you that extra warmth for the winter and the spring is you want to find one that is wool or at least partly wool and it will just make such a big difference i love this coat it looks really really great with everything one mistake i've made with these coats is sometimes when i thrift them i buy them a little bit too big and if they're too big the air gets up in there and they're not as warm if you're gonna size up like be mindful of that because even though i love that Hailey bieber look she lives in LA. It's like not practical for where I live. Um, so getting one that's a little bit more snug to your body is definitely key if you want to stay warm. Forgot about these, but I think they're a necessary thing to share. My favorite bras of all time. And that's saying a lot because guys, I 
hate wearing bras. Like you guys know it, it's really uncomfortable. I almost feel like just very claustrophobic wearing a bra, but these are amazing for two different reasons. They're super, super comfortable. I forget that I'm wearing them and I love that they have just like really, really well thought out colors and tones so that way they could work for a lot of different people. They really matched my skin tone. I mean, I know they're like a bit dark for me right now, but under clothes, it looks really, really seamless. It felt like I was wearing the wrong foundation color my whole life and I just found the right color for me. Like that's how it felt when I tried on these Skims bras. I'm obsessed with these. I cannot say enough good things about them. Like honestly, good job, Kim. Now, let's talk about shoes. I think everyone needs a pair of white sneakers and my favorite pair of white sneakers that I was so graciously gifted this year was the Sporty and Rich Adidas collab. They have a bit of burgundy, which I think is so perfect for winter and the little pearl charm. They are the Stan Smith style. And if you guys have watched me like for years now, you'll know I bring these out all the time. There's something about them that's just very, very comfortable. I cannot wait to wear these out and about when it's a bit more dry because these are canvas. I love a good white sneaker. I think everyone needs a pair. This is a thrifted pair of pointy black boots. And I think that these are just such a sexy shoe and everyone should have a pair of these in their closet. These are originally Sergio Rossi. I got them for like 20 bucks I think or $24 so happy these were such a fine this year they kind of remind me of pirate shoes but they're so pretty with the pointed toe like underneath a jean or even with a dress I think these are so so gorgeous I'm obsessed with these I think everyone needs a pair of pointy just classic stiletto boots in their wardrobe and then you need a comfy shoe or a winter boot these are so not a winter boot but they are the shoe of my choice because I drive everywhere. This is actually not an UGG. I got these from Call It Spring. So if you are looking for a vegan waterproof alternative, these are really great. I got them on sale for like 30 bucks, which is amazing. So I have them in the chestnut color as well as a uh, black color. And I love a black UGG. These little short ones are so great. I know that the UGGs were super sold out last year. They're probably sold out again this year. But the thing is, if you're not able to get them, look at the other like UGG alternatives. Because to be honest, because we're not really wearing them tucked into anything, you're only really seeing the toe now but like as long as they work and you think they're cute I think they're great and they're really really warm especially considering that there's no animal product made from them I'm really impressed now we're moving on to accessories I think a bold scarf this is like my all too well Taylor Swift scarf but a oversized big scarf is such a statement piece I think with a coat like this or even the puffer it just looks so put together obviously you should definitely have a beanie or a baseball cap or anything like that but a big scarf for the winter is just such an essential for me. I love it. I also like wearing it like to cover my ears sometimes. I like wearing it like this, like a shawl. I like wearing it like wrapped around a little bit differently. I just really, really like this. The next thing I love, these are my favorite sunglasses. They come in a pack of two on Amazon. I'll have the listing here. They come in a tortoise shell shape as well. And I wear them both and I love them. It's a perfect rectangular shape. I've put so many people onto these because they're so inexpensive and they look good with everything. I wear these all the time. These are my go-to sunglasses and I try to mix it up because I wear them so much and it's probably like really repetitive because I'm posting on TikTok all the time, but these are my go-to. I love them. They look good all year round. I would love to invest in a pair of like expensive or like more, like I guess more eye protecting um, than these, but I haven't found a really good pair yet. So if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. I want this exact shape, this. It's so good. And then the go-to purse I have here is so funny because I thrifted this one, but I originally thrifted this because it reminded me of a Prada bag that I really, really adored, but it's by Franco Sarto, which is a brand I really love to thrift. I just think it's really, really pretty. These nylon bags with leather detail, you can find them so easily at the thrift store. And the reason why I shared this one in particular is because you guys know I love designer bags, but I really don't think your bag needs to be designer in order for your outfit to look stylish. You just should really pick what you like. And there are so many really well-made bags from like the late 90s early 2000s that ended up at the thrift store barely been worn and they are probably ten dollars and under so if you're a big thrifter like me or not you should definitely go and check them out because I just love my thrifted bags. This is definitely one of my favorites. That is the end of today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Definitely check out Monos if you're looking for luggage or if you're looking for a really, really nice holiday gift for somebody else who you know is going to be using the heck out of it. Um, I'm going to have all the links there and also definitely use my code if you want to save a little bit of money. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.